Welcome back to my channel. Toyota's $10,000 pickup truck is perfect. The Toyota Tacoma pickup is built in America for Americans and Canadians to dodge the chicken tax, but 181 other countries around the world get the Toyota Hilux pickup. It looks a bit like our Tacoma, but more basic. You'd recognize it from global news footage of relief aid or conflict areas. Well, apparently it had gotten a trifle fancy and at about $15,200 to start, it was pricing itself out of some of those markets. The Toyota IMV0 intends to fill in that low-cost space beneath the Hilux with a target starting price of $10,000. It made its debut at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show, wearing cool Land Cruiser 70 Series style. Shortly after the Tokyo Show, we took one for a spin. Toyota has rethought every inch of this truck with an eye toward cost optimization and delivering everything that's absolutely necessary and nothing that's not. The development team even invited upfitters from around the globe to weigh in on how to better optimize the chassis and cab for to prepare them for aftermarket builds. Here are some of the changes, what's still included, or what's been left out, exact powertrain specs have not been disclosed, but we presume our example was fitted with the Hilux's entry 2.0-liter 139-horsepower four-cylinder gas engine and a five-speed manual transmission. We're guessing the diesel will be the 2.4-liter 150-horsepower Hilux unit, but several engines are likely to be offered, although it had airbags and ABS, this simplified truck felt way lighter than its size suggested so it gathered speed faster than expected. Its long shifters motion recollected full-size yank truck of yore, though its respectable precision did not. The bluff flat glass windshield generates some wind noise at highway speeds, but engine and road noise generated by the Bridgestone Duravis R611 commercial vehicle tires. 215-65 or 16 for plenty of sidewall, keeps your ears from fixating on it. We had no real chance to throw the IMV0 around any curves, but then what potential customer will? Braking felt firm and confidently able to owe a lot more mass. But in today's world of $50,000 median priced new vehicles in the US, it was incredibly refreshing to drive such a basic, no for rails transportation device. Driving this truck, you're instantly aware of how it will enable people in other corners of the world to do the hard work necessary to make a living, build a community, help others, etc. In that way it's a very different type of lifestyle vehicle than we're accustomed to. As outfitted, the drop-side flatbed featured a tailgate without latch as you simply rotate and slide a pin on each side to open or secure it. There's a bed step to assist climbing up. It's just a hole stamped and folded over in the roughly 3 16 inch steel forming the bedside. There are flat spaces galore to which items can be affixed, and there are mounting points for roof racks along the upper sides of the cab. But Toyota's longer-range plan is to minimize profit on sale of the basic truck, and earn on the upfit potential. Two on display at this year's Japan Mobility Show depicted a straight-up workhorse carrying a heavy load, and one outfitted as a pop-up coffee shop. Computer images showed it serving as an overlanding camper, a race support vehicle, etc. Rest assured, the third world is bound to put an IMV0 to work doing way heavier and harder things than any of these ideas. Don't bet on the IMV0 name to make production there's way too much heritage and goodwill invested in Hilux. Some believe Hilux champ might be the production maniker. In any case, it's slated for delivery to ASEAN markets starting in 2025 with pricing in markets that tolerate deletion of airbags and ABS at the 2023 equivalent of $10,000. In tighter regulated markets, 
expect to pay as much as $5,000 less than today's mainstream Hilux. Keep your eye out for them in CNN International broadcast footage starting then. Thanks for watching video.